What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Ryan Yip Fashion. My name is Ryan. Today, let's do something special. Actually, I've not seen a lot of people done it, which is reacting to fashion videos. I figured I might as well do something fashion history related. So today we have this VNA Fashion in Motion, I think interview with Alexander McQueen. What's better to start a series off with Alexander McQueen. And I got my coffee, about to burn some incense. Let's get straight to it. Also make sure to subscribe and like and turn on notification and everything, you know, the whole deed. Also let me know what kind of video you want me to react to in the future. Also the music is weirdly ominous for a music, I mean, sorry, fashion documentary. Alexander McQueen. I have to say, Alexander McQueen does kind of make smoking cool. Don't smoke though, but he does look make he does make look he does make smoking look cool. Also, I believe this is the number thirteen collection. Just everything around you about it's a state of mind. It's a it's a state of society today. Um, you know, I, I can't be so literal with my references. I think it's it's a it's a number of references coming to, culminating together to make one idea. Also, I just love how that kind of top, that stitched leather top corset, whatever it is, look right there. It's really, really beautiful. I know that I am provocative. You don't have to like it, but you do have to acknowledge it. Well said. <laughs> well said. You're not, you don't need to like it, but you better pay attention. It's mainly to do with the end result as an image and, and hopefully a lasting image. You know, I don't like uh, throwaway images. I like things to be stuck in the mind of people. And maybe that's why my work can sometimes come across as aggressive or violent, because today, maybe the world to me is a bit violent. That's an, that's an interesting point, because at this time, I mean, Alexander McQueen's whole life has just been about going through hell, like a lot of like tragic things or, unfortunate things happening to him and i feel like the reason why he's able to create such powerful images and provocative images is because he live it and he's able to while well, combining with his talent and artistic genius to combine it to make it something so heartfelt and as he said not throw away images because that's his life nothing's just forgettable everything's that important <laughs> what, what, what was that? I'm sorry. What was that? Is this part of the... The collection of the VNA never failed to intrigue and inspire me. The nation is privileged to have access to such a resource. Fair. I really it's so want to big, go. but it's the sort of place I'd like to be shut in overnight with no tourists. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no tourist. When I was there. at St. Martin's, studying okay. uh, for the master's degree there, I used to go in there for at least once to once a week to go through the archives. Also, do you think if you're a model? back then when I think this is like prime queen, right? I mean, number 13 became prime queen, or you can argue that it's not 
yet. Please don't come at me once again. Do you think if you're a model back then, you got a call to, hey, you want to walk for Alexander McQueen? You just automatically had a different kind of gait and like feeling towards you because you're walking for Alexander McQueen back then. Do you think so? Or do you think they're nervous? I think it's a mix of both, but I feel like you can't help to have, you know, an extra sense of pride that you're called to walk in Alexander McQueen. Uh, show because I, he has an important message to convey or a vibe to convey every show, so each model is handpicked. You know meticulously, but yeah. We were going through, going through rooms to set up the exhibition, and there was things I never even saw before, like colossus, sort of like statues or things. It's not about shocking anyone's a return to glamour. I wanted to make it more feminine than ever. True. Feminine power has always been an ongoing theme in McQueen's collections. Well, they say you can't wear it down Sainsbury's, can you? <laughs> Is the usual comment. Uh, I just think uh, that I think they've got to really understand uh, as a designer, it's not just about what you see on everyday people. It's about furthering people's imaginations into shape, proportion and color. Oh, that is so well said. I'm sorry to pause so much. That's so well said. It's about being able to bring other people's imagination into life with what skill, what kind of special, you know, specialty you have as a designer that is really important because as i guess creatives is really easy for you to think from your own position and create what you think is right but a great designer is also able to connect the dots for other people hey yes you're a great designer but you also got to cater towards you know what other people imagine as well you got to bring their fantasy to life and that's how you connect i think that's a great point, though. For me, my, my basis for anything I do is based on uh, a craftsmanship, be it tailoring, be it woodwork, or be it anything else, you know. I, I try to involve a lot of handcrafted things. That must be so uncomfortable to be in. That like neck. I think my neck just naturally shaped like that, but for her, I don't know. I'm not doing this to save the world. I suppose the idea is to show that beauty comes from within. Which I think which I think was the motto or like the 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 what's that called? Principle for a number 13, because he was really adamant on you know, why does the fashion industry only like pale skin, skinny, you know, tall blonde girls? And then he actually opened the show with her name is Amy Mullins. I was a Paralympic um, athlete with the wooden prosthetic. Like that's his whole thesis of this show, which is beauty comes from within, comes from within and not just um, the physical form. You know, it'd be nice to get it across um, to the general public exactly how uh, a metaphor turns into a reality. Really poetic, isn't it? It's really... Look at the silhouette and think about indirect. days before, days in the future, you know, just try to think not so close vision, really. I feel like no one dared to be close vision looking at a McQueen show. No one dared to be like that. Because they know what's coming their way. This is so nice to look at. Art. I 
I think the people who see the clothes and see the video and see the mannequin on the turntable just taking reflection that if I gave you Marks and Spencers, would you look twice? That's fashion, really. You know, I think fashion turns at such a fast pace that I think you just got to have a bit of an open mind, not be so judgmental. I think just educate yourself into the world of Alexander McQueen. <laughs> just educate yourself, you people. Is that it? That's it. So that's Fashion in Motion, Alexander McQueen. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you liked my reaction towards it. I love doing these. Actually, these are, I love this content type. Um, let me know if there's something you'd like to see because I can't do this on TikTok. I can only do this on YouTube and I've always, always wanted to make reaction videos. So yes, let me know. Hope you liked it. Uh, what you wanna, want me to react to? Um, hopefully something not too long maybe aim for five to seven minutes um, clips. But yeah, let me know down in the comments, suggestions. Love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice one.